Alright, here's an update. I got rid of the uh, LED and I put a little geranium uh, kind of leaking diode across from the emitter to the base. And that's still the uh, 2N4401 transistor. And I also got rid of the, um, the trigger coil. It wasn't doing anything. I thought it was, but I got rid of it. It has nothing to do with the circuit. This is more like laser savers. Jewel Ringer version 2, just basically the end of the high voltage off the bulb. Runs down, attaches to the base. And what's interesting is it starts up really nice. It's just no problem with it starting up. Starts up every time. If I get the the lead on there. Okay, that's six volts. It now draws a little right right at two hundred milliamps. So that LED was taking twenty milliamps. So basically I'm getting that brightness with six volts. I'll show you twelve volts. So here's twelve volts. Right. So typically on a Tesla coil you would have you would have the primary all the way down to the bottom and I, I tried it. So, um, this one transistor component type seems to like the coil up a little higher because the light goes out. That's on 12 volts. Also, I tried the um, I tried a power transistor, the 3055. Actually, um, result, results weren't any better at all. So I put the small little signal transistor back on, and it will it will work without the diode. Actually. There's just a slight difference. It runs a little brighter with the diode, but it's not a big deal. But it's also not a big deal to put the diode on. Tried a capacitor. Um, actually, it, it hurts the brightness, so I've taken that off. Alright, so here's 12 volts. If I can connect it, it's hard with one hand. Alright, so here's 12 volts. 